Back to the starting line. After going virtual last year, Grandma's Marathon organizers are making changes so the race can be held in person. It's being done with the help of a partnership made overseas and some new technology. CBS 3's John Cardinelli takes a look at the changes runners can expect. One of the Northland's biggest events is coming back this year. So one of the things we knew about the 2021 race was that it was going to have to look different. That's why those involved with Grandma's Marathon decided to partner with Marcel Altenberg, a world-renowned crowd expert based in the UK to help them figure out the safest way to put on the marathon. He's been very gracious with his time working with our event to try and get those simulations ready for us and, and really get the science uh, dialed in. Using a simulation program, the collaboration was able to identify the changes that are needed to keep COVID from spreading. Part of the solution is allowing half of the number of runners. The runners will start in separated lanes five at a time to control the flow onto the race course. At the narrowest point of his simulation, participants should expect to have at least 12 feet of separation between themselves and another participant. While the plans are in place to make the race as safe as possible, they'll only work if runners do their part and follow the rules. Now it's a matter of communicating that to our participants, our staff, our volunteers, and really getting people to buy into this because it does rely a lot on taking that personal responsibility come race day. Participants will have to wear masks at all times except when they're running. Grandma's events run June 17th through the 19th. 